Hello there, you're now with me, Hani Gui, and welcome to your 5 p.m. English news on TVS. Now let's dive into the headlines for today. Minister in the Prime Minister's Department for Sabah and Surau Affairs, Dr. Sri Dr. Maximus Onkeli, said the proposal to ink a new agreement deviates from the country's nationalism struggle and to ignore MA63 is to reject the Federation of Malaysia. Onkeli said this in reply to a question by Sepangar MP Dr. Muhammad Aziz Jamand about the government's view on the proposal of several politicians, including the Thin Keningau MP, regarding the need for a new agreement to replace MA63, and what the implications would mean for Sabah and Sarawak if MA63 was cancelled and replaced with a new agreement. Onkili said MA63 is very important because without it there will be no reference and basis to discuss issues that can benefit the two Bornean states. Apabila perjanjian Malaysia 1963 diabaikan, ia punya bermakna membelakangkan persekutuan Malaysia. Pandangan seperti, sebegini sangat mengelirukan, jauh dari tersasar dan tidak selaras dengan perlembagaan yang telah kita luluskan di Dewan Yang Mulia ini yang mana Perjanjian Malaysia 63 kini telah menjadi sebahagian daripada perlembagaan persekutuan. He stressed that all parties should focus more on fulfilling the matters agreed in MA63 and ensure that they are implemented. He also called on all parties to unite and avoid playing with semantics and politics that could disrupt the unity of Keluarga Malaysia. Meanwhile, Keningau Member of Parliament, Dato Sri Dr. Gapari Kandingan, during the same session, admitted that he had made a statement regarding the new agreement to replace MA63. Jadi apa guna kita ada perjanjian kalau tidak dilaksanakan dan tidak dihormati? Sebab itu, saya mencadangkan pada waktu itu. Tetapi, kini uh, kerjaan uh, telah uh, mengambil langkah-langkah uh, untuk melaksanakan uh, dan menghormati kandungan dan perjanjian dalam uh, MA63 maka uh, apa yang saya cadangkan pada waktu itu tidak lagi relevan. Now moving on to our collective report on infectious diseases discussed this week. Japan detected its first case of the monkeypox virus in Tokyo on Tuesday, July 26. And according to the Japanese Deputy Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshihiko Isozaki, the Japanese government is holding meetings in response to the country's first case of the disease. え、感染症のサル痘につきましては、え、今ご指摘の通り昨日、え、東京都におきまして、え、患者1名が確認をされたところでございます。で、これを受けまして政府としましては、え、ま、昨日に続きまして本日11時10分から、え、第2回の、え
Thank you for staying with me. 98% of monkeypox cases to date are seen among those in the same gender relationship. As such, a fear of stigmatizing the disease has affected the public health response. And according to the World Health Organization, which has declared monkeypox a global health emergency, the outbreak is concentrated among men who have sex with men, especially those with multiple sexual partners. However, stigma and scapegoating around monkeypox could make the outbreak harder to trace. Let's hear from Dr. Lucy Sibley a senior lecturer from UNIMAS. Sure, it will, you know, no doubt, will create, you know, uh, will stigmatize those who are actually, you know, in this case, the LGBT community. But we have to, you know, uh, uh, also remind ourselves and also the public out there, general public, that, you know, um, that, that, that uh, uh, monkeypox, okay, does not necessarily targeting, you know, the or uh, 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 the LGBT communities, all right? Because the way in which monkeypox is spread, okay, it's not only, you know, via sexual contact. It can also spread, you know, uh, if you are, you know, um, uh, uh, in the public uh, organizations, public events or social events, and in particular where you, you know, um, um, kissing and hugging somebody or individuals who, uh, you know, ha uh, who have, you know, uh, monkeypox, but do not know that they, they have it, right? Um, and, and also, I guess the, the words that the, the, the public health, okay, or SDC, uh, SC, uh, CDC use is also very important because rather than saying that, okay, that monkeypox is only very, uh, it's very common among the LGBT, the LGBT, um, Groups are the most vulnerable because they are highly the uh, they are you know have the potentials uh, um, uh, 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 high potential to contract monkeypox. That is not true. I think the words that we use, rather than the LGBT, you should you know I think the the word we you know uh, I think it's important because monkeypox does not necessarily you know affecting or attacking or uh, uh, the LGBT, but also you know. Um, you and I, right? Because you know, it's only uh, it's not only spread via sexual contact, but via other means as well. As such, she reiterated that messages behind the transmission of monkeypox should be fine-tuned to make the outbreak easier to tackle. In addition to disseminating the right information to the general public. All right, I think. Um... To answer the first part of your questions, yes, it will create stigma, all right? Um, this is, again, due to the way in which the information has been disseminate, uh, disseminated. So, and uh, I guess um, the way, the way, not only the way that the information has been disseminated, but also the target, uh, targeted audience as well, all right? And, and that will, you know, um, indirectly will make those, especially those who are either the uh, victims of monkeypox or those who have contracted monkeypox, or particularly those who are in the LGBT uh, community, uh, very vulnerable, not only, uh, I mean, to, to be isolated, that is one, uh, to be discriminated against, yes, and then sometimes to be, you know, physically attacked, all right, by the member of the, their own community or by uh, private individuals. All right, who are ill-informed about the um, dangers uh, of uh, monkeypox, right? Because nobody knows that you know that monkeypox uh, can spread via um, you know social events, for example, to where you know people who contracted you know um, um, monkeypox uh, can actually infect other persons without having you know sexual. Uh, um, uh, a relationship or contacts. So far this year, there have been more than 16,000 cases of monkeypox in more than 75 countries and five deaths recorded in Africa. The first case was first reported by the WHO on May 15 this year, which spreads via close contact and tends to cause flu-like symptoms and pus-filled skin lesions has been spreading chiefly in same-sex relationships in a recent outbreak outside Africa where it is endemic.
Health Minister Kerry Jamaluddin said from May 1st to July 23rd, a total of 531,630 travellers were recorded to have arrived from countries that reported cases of monkeypox. And the My Sejahtera app had issued a monkeypox health alert to all travellers. As such, the ministry had also increased the capacity of laboratories from 2 to 12 to conduct monkeypox virus detection tests. Eight are government laboratories. Now, monkeypox is generally a mild disease that passes without the need for intensive treatment. But for Harun Tuline, an unusually severe case has left him hospitalized. Another patient, Matt Ford, expressed concern that some public reporting and commentary may reinforce homophobic and racist stereotypes. Tulune, 35 years old, a sexual health advocate who is HIV positive, said he was given a series of misdiagnoses ranging from tonsillitis to a problem with his HIV medication. It was only after his symptoms became so severe that he began to have trouble swallowing that prompted hospital admission. The fever didn't go away. I was taking ibuprofen, paracetamols, antihistamines, every single medication I could find. And it, nothing helped. At this point, I started to call 111 to get help from emergency services. And every single time when I called them, I was told that this is not an emergency and call us when you get worse. But the worse than 39.6 is basically me passing out. Yes, there is a really limited data that people living with HIV having monkeypox, you know, in the, in the percentages, it's a little bit higher. But there is no study right now actually proves that uh, there, is, um, there is a relation in between. And yet, I told you, my HIV is very well controlled and I never had any issues. Even my CD4 cells, the fighter cells are so high, for, for some cases higher than HIV negative people. And yet, I had it very severe. So I really would like to know why that virus chose me to, you know, uh, to become so severe or what in my, my body caused that. Actually, unfortunately, until all the researches are done um, in the near future, I think we won't be able to know that. Meanwhile, Matt Ford said the moment he spoke up about his experience with monkeypox disease, he received many positive messages, but also a fair amount of cruel and unkind reactions. I do think, unfortunately, there is real potential for stigma. I know when I was speaking out, I was fortunate that most of the comments were well wishes, you know, for a speedy recovery and, and whatnot. But there were quite a few, you know, internet trolls saying really cruel, um, unkind things to me. And, you know, I'm afraid that that reflects in the real world too, right? Like if people who perhaps are homophobic or have prejudice or whatever see this, that could be used um, against the queer community. But anybody who is exposed or comes down with it, I want to reiterate that there's no place for shame or stigma in it. You know, it's just the way the cards fell. You've done nothing wrong. And what helped me the best was to remember that although it might be awful, it is temporary. That's all the time we have for TVS News at 5. I'm Handy Gui. Thank you for watching.